My name is Ginger Wildheart and you're watching Rock and Live. Life plays heavy on my mind It's gonna kill me one dream at a time or so It seems it might It seems it might I'd love to. Um, it'd be my pleasure to introduce myself. My name is Ginger Wildheart. Um, my band is called the Ginger Wildheart Band. Uh, the six of us, uh, one of us is a lady and the rest are stinky men and we play music that uh, is, has very loud guitars and lots and lots of harmonies and uh, lots and lots of nice tunes so if you like tunes and guitars and harmonies you'll love us and if you don't you'll probably hate us but um, check us out come and see us live we love playing Paris because every time we play here we go down really well and I'm not sure why maybe you guys are just really cool and you just like good music or maybe we're good and you like us but um, do come and see us because we want a headline in Paris one day um, because it, it sounds like it would be successful and popular but we don't know yet because we've never done a headline show in Paris so we're not quite sure whether we just pick the right headline bands to play with or whether we got, we're actually popular ourselves so the jury's out on that one it's still Paris is still a mystery to us Stars manager comes in handy because he's also not only my manager but my memory um, what happened since October and uh, you won a classic rock award we won a classic rock award for our album 555 which uh, me and Gav went to London this is Gav by the way yeah. which uh, me and Gav went to London to collect um, presented by the lovely Duff McKagan and uh, and that was nice, and we won some awards yesterday mm -hmm. at the Pure, Pure Rock awards. awards, and we made number one in the classic rock singles, mm -hmm. um, and other stuff that we did. We've been doing lots and lots of stuff. Actually, I tell you what we've been doing. We've been finishing off and mixing um, the new pledge campaign, which is coming to an end. And that is two albums by a project called Mutation, which is me and John Poole and Denzel from this band, and also Shane Embry from Napalm Death, Marky e. Smith from The Fall, Mersbo from Japan, from, from Nightmares, and, um, and, and then we did uh, another album that we started recording in 2011. We just finished it. Um, 2010? The Mutation? Yeah. Right? Uh, 2000 and, uh, yeah, 2010, let's say 2010, 2010 we started 2010. the first one um, and then, so, th so we finished both of them off and then we've been doing another project making it three albums um, with me and Victoria who you just met in the dressing room um, who sings in my band and uh, that's called Hey Hello and, that's, uh, and we play a lot of Hey Hello songs in the set tonight uh, and that's very uh, 70s inspired noisy pop rock and um, and I get to play the drums because I'm a bit of a frustrated drummer and uh, I get to play bass and guitar I play all the backing tracks and me and Victoria do the uh, do the vocals lots of harmonies very very sparks and cheap trick and things like that so yeah mutation is very very heavy very intense extreme music and hey hello is a, a lot more accessible uh, pop rock so that's the three albums, three awards. I think that's what you've been doing since October. I think that's, that's enough. Yeah. Oh, and I, and I drove the coast of Britain in my car. I drove around the coast of Britain, which takes a month, to look for inspiration to write some new material. And that was very nice. And I just got a speeding ticket yesterday. Only one speeding ticket in 28 days. Seven hours driving a day and only one speeding ticket. Not bad. I can
can do it at home, but I've got a, a four-year-old child who likes having my attention. So it doesn't really work very well uh, for writing. So I decide uh, normally to just go and stay in a hotel for a week and just focus on, on, the, on the songs. Um, this time, because I'm writing for, for um, something that um, I really wanted to devote all my attention on, I decided I'd spend a month in a car just me in the car and the and the sat nav, and uh, and travel around the coast of Britain, finding inspiration from the the history and the beauty of the place and the sort of things that have been inspiring artists and writers for centuries. Um, and unfortunately, it went well. Uh, Scotland was amazing because it's all untouched. There's no McDonald's. There's no Starbucks. The south of England, unfortunately, is all concrete. They got rid of the beaches, uh, so that was that was slightly disappointing. But also put a, 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 a more realistic angle on on the, on the album that that I, that I ended up writing about England, about Britain. Um, and I expected to go back with all of these stories of how how amazing Britain is and how how we have this spirit. And then I found that a lot of people don't find Britain very amazing. That's why they concrete over the beaches and and, and, and flatten everything and put car parks on everything. Uh, but people find um, the spirit themselves, not from the place. The place gets its spirit from the people. So I ended up writing the album about the people of Britain. It's a very long answer and I won't be surprised if you cut it. You play time, the waves are right for it. Oh, I've still got my face left. Um, my palms, my hands are, are still free. Um, keeping them for children's names. My face for when I go to prison, and I need to uh, to get prison tattoos somewhere. Um, no, I'm not full. I, I never, ex I never wanted to get full of tattoos. I started with one little tattoo when I was a kid, and oh, well, I quite like that. I got another one. Well, I've got two. I might as well get three. And it kind of turned out like that. It was more like um, passport stamps. Everywhere I go, I get a tattoo. We just all had this one done because this is the mutation logo. It's a little bit scabby right now. Quite ugly. Um, but uh, this is the mutation logo um, that uh, we decided was um, was something that I, I love. The logo. The logo was designed by Rich Jones, who plays guitar in my band, and also plays on the first mutation album. Uh, and I just loved the design so much I thought that would make a great tattoo and I figured that if I get it tattooed other people will get it tattooed so I'm expecting lots of people turning up with this tattoo which is a very nice tattoo I suggest and recommend that you get this on yourself right now but I, I, I ended up covered in tattoos by virtue of just getting another one I, I never wanted to be covered and, and I don't want whole sleeves and stuff you know when, my tattoos are stories and when you see kids who are like 17 18 and they're covered in tattoos how many stories have you really got when you're 17 or 18 I, I know I didn't have very many so they just get tattoos of dragons and fish and stuff that doesn't really mean anything and my tattoos all mean something so I think tattoos are better if they tell a story because then you're not as embarrassed about them when you get older we've just been looking at some the worst rock tattoos in the world people getting Cinderella and poison and Motley Crue and everything you know think hard you've got to wear this for the rest of your life My old friend the blues. Let's see that written there. My old friend the blues um, by Steve Earle. It's a it's a very special song, uh, and and it's 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 one of those sets of lyrics that 
I live to write something as good as that. And I've no doubt in my mind that I won't ever write anything as beautiful as this song. So it keeps me striving to be better. But it's also a song about how being sad, uh, it's, it's, the sadness isn't an enemy, it's an old friend. And, and the old friend comes and visits for usually not very long, and then it goes away. And in that sadness, um, Steve Earle obviously found the inspiration to write this beautiful song. And when you're really happy, you don't really want to write a beautiful song when you're happy. Being happy is its own reward. So there's, so, there's a lot of value in, in sadness, I think. God, I tell you what I'm listening to. Um, yesterday I got the new Tegan and Sarah album. Tegan and Sarah, two twins from Canada. And they've got a new album called Heart, Heartthrob. Heartthrob. Uh, I just got it um, and, uh, and, I, and I put it on because uh, it was bedtime. I, I planned to listen to it once and I listened to it again and again and again and I listened to it about five times didn't get much sleep because of Tegan and Sarah it's a fantastic record and it's it's kind of like it's, it's very poppy but it's so well done and the voices are so beautiful and the melodies are incredible that's my favorite album uh, right now and uh, apart from that I'm a, I'm a music freak so I listen to music all the time uh, lots of different types of music and it would if I told you everything that I was listening to, we'd probably miss the, sh miss the show tonight. So I listen to a lot of music. Learn about your crew, respect your crew. You won't get very far in this world if you don't respect the crew. They get up before you, they work all day, and then they sit through your show, and then they continue working while you're having a beer in the dressing room. And maybe you're having a beer in the dressing room complaining, oh, the, I couldn't hear the monitors, I couldn't hear my guitar, the audience this, and you might be complaining about something. Meanwhile, the crew are working, and they get paid less than you, and they work much harder than you. So my advice for anyone wanting to be in a band and stay on the road is respect your crew because they are the most important people there. Yes, come to the show. We love playing in France. We love playing in Paris. We've been in Paris a few times now, but we've never played a headline show. We came here, I think, the first time with suicidal tendencies back in the 90s went down amazing. Uh, we played here with The Darkness last time, we played here with Slash. Every show that we play, we, we really are blown away and, and, and amazed by the reaction uh, from, from the, the people of France. And uh, I'm, I really want to come back and do a headline show, but um, not without you lot you've got to buy some tickets so if we book a headline show please come i promise we'll play loads and loads of music and uh, send you off to sleep in a, in a blissful cloud of joy but um we can't do it without you so please stick by us uh, because we love 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 playing here um I'm, you know that's not that's something you probably everyone sees everywhere but we are actually genuinely amazed by the reaction to our music in in paris so we want to come back and we want a headline and uh, again and again and again and then I want to come and live here and then I'm going to apply to be president uh, and then I'm going to make um, beer free so stick by me I'm going to look after you <laughs>